Good morning, y'all. Here I am again. Uh, March the 30th. I, I don't know why I tell myself every t time what day it is. Then I have to look again. Because it's down there on the computer screen. And it says 8.15 on there. But my clock on the stove that I go by says 7.15. I hate this new time. I hate this daylight wasting time. <laughs> what I heard somebody call it and that's what it is to me because time I get breakfast made it'll be nine o'clock and time to go out and do the chores but I want to talk to you about leftovers this morning I know I love having some leftovers I like to cook and I like having leftovers and I'm going to show you some of my leftovers now y'all know the other night the other night I made spaghetti you know what I did with the leftovers? I froze that spaghetti. It's got black olives and mushrooms and cheese. It's got everything. Meat in it. And I froze it. So we'll have that another day. But I just wanted to show you. And you know, it freezes pretty good. When you cook three meals a day out here for Mr. Terry like I do, you like having leftovers. But I'm going to show you some more leftovers. You know that pizza? There's the pizza, but you know my problem is I really ought to write on it and date. Now I know this is a pizza, but I really ought to put a sticker with the date on it. But so there's there's spaghetti and there's the pizza. I got more though. This this I think is is a little piece of lasagna that I froze. I don't even remember when I made it, but when you make a big pan of lasagna or a big pan of pizza, we don't eat it all. So there's some lasagna. I got more. And this, this is hard to tell what this is, but this is chicken and dumplings. Now when I make chicken and dumplings, you know, I make a big pot of chicken and dumplings. And if I, we'll eat them for a couple of meals, we'll eat them once and eat them again and if we get tired of them and they're still good if i freeze them in like a quart bag we have chicken and dumplings without having to make a big pot and what else i've got and today i've got these leftover biscuits today now i'm fixing to make some gravy i don't heat them terry would only eat a couple of them but i'm fixing to use a couple of them for his breakfast and the rest of them, after a while, I'm going to make chicken and dress them. Because I've got my biscuits. Got, show you. got my, take my lid off here. I've got a pan of cornbread. And that's more cornbread than what we're going to eat. So I'm going to take the leftover biscuits today. And the leftover cornbread. And I had a cousin that, that, that had went down to the, his wife had volunteered at the food bank. And he brought me some chicken. So I'm going to boil some chicken today. Use the biscuits and the cornbread, and I'm going to make some chicken and dressing. And you know what it what? When you make chicken and dressing, it makes a pretty big, a pretty big dish too. So we'll eat it, or Terry will eat it. I'm trying to go low carb. And then if I did cut them into pieces, I can freeze that chicken and dressing and have chicken and dressing too. So that means. That means I've got always got something pretty good to, that I can pull out of the freezer and I can either put it in the microwave and defrost it or some of it if I just take it out in enough time, I can do it. So I freeze all kinds of little odds and ends in, in my freezer. I'll, I'll chop up onions and freeze them and just take out what I need sometimes. Oh, my cousin brought me onions and celery too, so I need that for my chicken and dressing. <laughs> I freeze, I freeze bread, I freeze, I freeze everything. Now, I do a lot of canning, so with, with my chicken dressing and stuff, I can pull out fried okra, or I can go to the, go and can green beans and corn. I just, I'm just, I'm just pretty, pretty frugal sometimes. We eat good, plain country food, try not to throw it all out, but if I, if we don't eat something and I throw it out, you know who eats it? Them backyard chickens I got, they love to see what you throw it out and what they get to eat. And some of my milk, you know, I milk two, almost two gallons a day. And so I don't use all that milk. And if it gets clabbered and thick and I pour it down there, them chickens love to eat that clabbered milk. They need some hogs to feed it too, but I don't have any hogs. So the chickens will have to eat it. 
All right, I've got to get off here this morning. I had my bacon in the skillet back there, and I, and I melted some butter to make some gravy. But then I thought, well, if I talk too long, I'll scorch that stuff. So I turned off my stove for this five minutes that I needed to talk. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to stick this stuff back in the freezer. I just wanted to show you what I did with all my leftovers. Oh, and cake and pie will freeze too, and cookies. Just just wrap it up and, and pretty pretty tight as you can get it and put it in there. And then you, ha you have a whole meal sometimes you can take out. And just a few minutes later, you've heated it up and have, a, have something good to eat. All right. Bye, y'all. Love you. Y'all, tell me what you do if that's frugal. We all have to save and do the best we can. And I, food, you got to eat. You got to have, what, water, shelter, and food in that Three of the main things, you gotta have friends. Love y'all, bye.